Now, unfortunately, I will not be able to watch the Montreal Canadiens and Toronto Maple Leafs game later today. I have school, I have midterms, I have quizzes to write, and I have studying to do. But what I can do is talk about these two teams, the Canadians and the Leafs, in a little bit of a different context. Let's talk about a little bit of a piece of news here. This is from 31 Thoughts. This is thought number 15, and honestly... This piece of news has been reported earlier, it's just it was brought to my attention by the 31 Thoughts article published yesterday. Chris Johnston reported that the other clubs are assuming Konstantin Okulov of the KHL CSKA Moscow is picking between Montreal and Toronto. The Canadians in particular lusted after him a year ago. So pretty much... What we're talking about here isn't the hockey game that's going to go on between these two teams later today that I will not be able to watch, but instead we are talking about a Russian free agent that both of these teams have the chance of getting. Now, Okulov is a player who has been on the radar for quite some time. In fact, there is another article on Sportsnet that is published about Konstantin Okulov talking about the Canadians and the Leafs actually pursuing him. While there are a lot of NHL teams interested in offering a deal towards Okulov, some are not too confident in their ability to recruit the forward. This is what Chris Johnston said. Other teams believe that Montreal and Toronto are the two favorites for this forward who's playing with Red Army this season. Some of these teams are, you know, wondering if it's even worth engaging with his camp about trying to bring him over next season. So obviously, there's interest with this player, and let's just go over the scouting report right here. Konstantin Okulov is listed as a center right winger, 24 years of age, 6 foot nothing, 185 pounds, playing for the CSKA Moscow in the KHL. At the moment, I believe he's centering the line of Kirill Kaprizov and another winger. Kaprizov is the absolutely incredible Minnesota Wild prospect that could be a star in the NHL, but we just don't know when he's going to come over. But right now, Konstantin Okulov has 14 points in 18 CSKA Moscow games played. That's a pretty good number, and honestly, Okulov has some pretty good skills that translate into those offensive numbers too. However, let's put a little bit of a disclaimer right away for the numbers of Okulov, because he does have 14 points in 18 games. He is being led on his team by a few other guys that you probably know of. Kirill Kaprizov is first on that team in points. He's a pretty good KHL star with NHL potential. But after that, it's Lyndon Vey, Mikhail Grigorenko, and Yuri Sajak. So these are not guys that are particularly amazing, and they all have more points than Okulov. Does that mean that Okulov is in the same realm as these guys? Not necessarily, but, you know, it's not amazing. In fact, after Okulov on the score sheet, it's Anton Slepeshev and Nikita Nesterov, some guys that NHL fans are familiar with, too. However, there is a link to the Canadians in particular with Okulov because the Canadians' prospect, Alexander Romanov, is actually playing for CSKA Moscow as well. Not to mention, the fact that CSKA Moscow is really stacked and you have to fight for ice time on that team, Okulov is fighting for that as a 24-year-old. Honestly, in my opinion, Okulov is a player who has a little bit of a better NHL skill set to offer than the likes of Lyndon Vey, Yuri Sechak, and of course, Mikhail Grigorenko. Okulov is a player who has some crazy good offensive puck skills, and it comes across in a multitude of ways. The deking ability is really strong with this player, as is, in particular, the shot. His shot is incredible. He's got an absolute wrister, and it's got a laser eye for the net. He can really pull it back. He can really pull it back and shoot the puck in an effective way on net. And he's got the confidence to do that night in and night out. He's a guy who honestly, in my opinion, if the best case scenario pans out, he gets himself upwards of 30, 40 points in the NHL with 15 to 20 goals. Last season in the KHL, Konstantin Okulov was actually at a career high 31 points, 20 goals for CSKA Moscow in 48 games played. He's a player who does have NHL potential, 
but there are a few things that might be able to limit him from being a true star in the NHL. Obviously, defensive zone issues come to mind. The KHL isn't really known for being a super effective defensive style game. Also, just the overall changes in KHL hockey and NHL hockey, you can never really predict those to a very accurate extent. But at the moment, Konstantin Okulov is a great KHL offensive forward, center, right winger, who does look like he could potentially be an NHL star if everything goes right. Scouting reports in the past have seen people talking about this player as if he had NHL star potential. And of course, that's always a great sign, but at the same time, he's being bested out on his team by guys like Lyndon Vey and Mikhail Grigorenko, who haven't been NHL stars either. So at the same time, it's a risk. If you're going to sign a player like this, you're going to have to sign him a one, two-year deal or whatever. Ilya Mikheyev is doing pretty well for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We've seen the Leafs get their KHL free agents in the past. Ozhiganov comes to mind. Zaitsev comes to mind. That's how it is in Toronto. But the Montreal Canadiens are involved with this player too. And in fact, it's a toss-up right now between these two teams, as one of them will probably be the home of Konstantin Okulov next season. I won't watch the game today, but this has been a video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Social Dash 99 And bye.